Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, we hung out with Miss Kawakami and On. On was called out by uh, Mika about not being a serious model and decided, you know what? She's gonna get more motivated. And uh, Miss Kawakami was having a bit of uh, body issues because of uh, what her manager said to her, but then wondered why she was doing this coming here and asked us to not request her in this episode we're gonna ignore that and just request her anyway it's becky just kidding i told you this already but i've been deceiving you sorry again so stop spending your money on me got it I feel like my bond with kawakami will grow stronger soon Kawakami told you not to request her. What are you going to do? REQUEST HER ANYWAY! Please take care of my housework. What? Are you serious? Fine. I'll be right there. I'll have to keep teaching you until you understand. Well, I mean you're a teacher, so... You know. You're the perfect person to do it. Jeez. Are you serious? I told you that story about my sixth little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money, and you still request me? I mean, technically doesn't everyone use everyone for money? Anyone that does a profession? People that pay a artist to draw something are using them for art. People that are sick use a doctor to help heal them for money. In a capitalist society, basically everyone is using everyone. But there's nothing bad about it. I'm gonna say it's fun. Two points! Huh? Are you an extreme masochist or something? No? Really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet, you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So... Money is actually... an apology. There was this student named Takase at school I taught before sh at a school I taught before Shujin. Takase Kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called to the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I'd continued to tutor Takase-kun. How terrible! Points! Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared losing my job and having rumors spread about me so I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions Toxic kun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him out of all days it was New Year's Eve and it had been pouring rain all day and he died in a car crash He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But 
then he said it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. I had kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. I mean, what were you supposed to do? You needed your job so you could take care of yourself. And I'm sure he got that. I mean, it's not your fault that he crashed. If anything, Mother Nature's to blame, that bitch! Takase-kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working all of his part-time jobs. His guardians blame me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. Then said they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and the Board of Education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching, no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money, so that they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Are you okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... <sighs> See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. I want to see you again. Magnus Coon. Really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them, too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. I feel like my relationship with Kawakami has deepened. Temperance Rank 5, Free Time! Gain free time with other teachers' classes with Kawakami's help! Right. Arcana Burst! Free Time! Don't know how she pulls this off, but cool! Also, not that it does us any good now that I think about it because it's summer right now, but it'll do us good in the future. Alrighty, time to clean! I'm going to put more energy into it than usual today! My, this room is so dusty! Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. Uh. <coughs> hmm. Oh, uh, wow! It's so dusty! My cough is already this bad. Maybe we'd better all we'd be better off tearing this place down and should not fumble. Maybe we'd be better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby I mean chicness of this room is truly its charm. So let's keep it as is. Alright, I have to go. Thank you so much! I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master! I bet they're crying. Lol. The thieves got famous. August Yo, 20th, where are the police? Saturday. One day left to measure the deadline. Justice, lol. This'll draw attention. I'm gonna try something really quick before I get into anything else. Oh. Are you calling Kawakami? Yes. Um. Oh, you get sorry. I'm kind of busy right now. There's a lot you need me to do. Save for Friday and Saturday evenings. Okay, bye! Like, how do I get her to wash my clothes and do the coffee? Because I got that perk. I just don't know how to do it. Do I go outside to the washing machine and request her from there, or...? It's really bugging me because I need to get that done. So I can have all this equipment. Okay. 
Wanna watch dirty items for every fan? You can only hire Kawakami at night. You just have to do this yourself. Okay. Come on. Then at night, I will do that. But uh, right now, what do we got going on here? Tay. All right, I'm gonna spill the beans here. I recorded this episode already, but the video froze up and I didn't realize till 25 minutes in. So I'm doing this again. I know who's available right now. Yusuke and Makoto are both available, but they both require me to have a certain stat higher. Then Ryuji is also available, but we haven't touched Tay in a while and it'd be good to get our doctor up more points. So I'm probably going to go to Tay, but before I do that, I still have a decent amount of money, so I'm going to go to Shinjuku and get a buff for my guts. Ooh. Oh, that was just a bunch of trash. I thought I saw someone, like, sitting on the corner there. Hey, Chihia. Since that you have trouble with women. There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is that... Uh, anyway, please be careful. Well then, shall I read your fortune in details? Yes. Okay, please take a seat. What shall we do? Which fortune would you like to have read? I would like a luck reading. Reading your luck improvement for not from Reading your luck improvement fortune will cost you five thousand yen. I will have a fortune read. By the way, the reason I'm doing this is because clinical trials now only give us one point of guts. Well, at least this one that we're about to do, so I'm getting the buff now. So it'll be more than one. Alright. Please think of some area in which you'd like to increase your luck. Guts. Hmm. 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 Yes, the mists are clearing. greatly benefit from taking actions that will increase your guts. Your guts are more likely to increase today. That's all for today's improvement reading. What do you Hope think? you're happy with your fortune. I look forward to your next visit. Okay. Any changes to your health? Let's do a follow-up, just in case. The exam is ready, so all I need is a sample. Takumi's waiting for you at the clinic. You want to see her? Yes. Okay, I'll be waiting. Okay. Don't pass out, okay? It's been getting hotter, huh? How's your health? Don't forget to stay hydrated. I don't want you collapsing when you take my medicine. You came because you saw my messages, right? Yes. Let's do clinical. I've really been want or I've been really busy lately with all my new patients. But what the heck? Oh, everything's set up already. Feel like you can become closer to talk to me thanks to the death persona Piska. Feel like my bond with talk to me will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? You gonna hang out with talk to me? Yes. Oh, that old lady from earlier forgot something. Hmm. Wonder if she's still outside. Well, I didn't see her, but we'll see. Oh, hey. Thank you, dear. This is my favorite handkerchief. Uh-huh. It's right in front of me, so... Oh, my! You're a shy one, aren't you? Uh, I'm not shy. My neighbor speaks highly of you. She says your medicines are better than those at the big hospital. Hospitals. It's very reassuring to have such a distinguished doctor right here in town. I'll see you again soon. Well, someone's popular. Thanks to you. There's a lot there's a lot of talk going around town about me. Started by that girl and her dad. Apparently they've been telling everyone I can make all these amazing rep medicines and remedies. So now the number of patients I'm seeing has increased dramatically. I don't know what some of these people are thinking though. I've had a lot of crazy requests. Like yesterday, a patient requested a sweet-smelling compress. 
Then the other day, I had a request for a cold buster. Huh? A joke like that deserves a Nobel Prize. Other requests have included hair and skin tonics. I've had to do a consultation about a cat. But you're a doctor, not a veterinarian. They just went barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Jeez, it's not like I'm some kind of genius doctor. Having fun? Stop that. No. This is all interfering with my development. I'm only interested in completing my new drug. That's my role as the plague. I'm not suited for all this other stuff. It suits you. <gasps> what? Really? Woo! Three points! Well, you're entitled to your opinion. <sighs> A town doctor, huh? That sort of lifestyle profession might have been possible for me at one time, but now... <sighs> oh yeah, about those clinical trials. With so many new patients, it's taking longer to analyze the data, so I'll need to catch up. It's a bit on the stronger side, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Feels like my bond with Takumi is growing even deeper. Death. Rank 6. No ability, right. just burst. Oh. Looks like that girl is going to make a full recovery. The treatment seems a good match for her. So at least I can breathe a little easier for now. Hopefully she'll be able to attend school soon. I don't know about that, I mean it is summer right now, so probably not. What? I mean maybe when school's back in session though. What are you so happy about? Are you excited for your next clinical trial? Well then, let's have some fun. Feel like my... I feel like cooperating in this shady clinical trial has increased my guts! Two points! So now we've definitely determined for certain that getting a luck reading increases your skill points you get by exactly one. All right. Because guts has improved! Bye. Okay, thank you for your hard work. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. Oh, hold on, I got peas. How's Futaba? I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow! If Futaba's not up by then... But can she really do anything? Even if she doesn't wake up? Or even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm. Dreams are said to be the sorting out of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? Think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that's the case, she'd probably need a great amount a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she's had how she had us wrapped around our her Damn! Heavy humble. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yes. Indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out. You know, let's talk to Sojiro, see what he has to say about Futaba. Hey. This is the second half of summer vacation for you, right? Are you keeping up with your studies? That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Oh, whoops. That... I think he said something about Futaba, but I skipped it. <sighs> she was like this last year, too. Well, I'm sure she'll be up soon. Mm. Futaba was mumbling something in her sleep. 
Alibaba won't lose or something. What kind of dream was that? Okay, that's what I was going for. That's why I got the last time I recorded this. So it changes. Interesting. Anywho, before we look at those messages, I'm going to test something out. Washing machine. Okay. Might be a good idea to ask Kawakami to handle this for you. Then you can spend some time on something else. Come on. Can I call her on the... Is it that I need to call her on the yellow phone? What, what is the situation here? Yes. Hi. This is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. It's summer, but don't lose focus. You're still in high school, so don't go playing. Go fumble. Don't go out playing at night. Well. Wait, is this considered playing at night or worse? Well, it's under my supervision. It's fine. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. Don't think my bond will deepen. Hey. Crush 5,000 yen. Okay, I'm gonna seriously have to look up how to get her to do my dishes. And, or not my dishes, my laundry. Because this is bugging the hell out of me that I don't know how to do this off the top of my head. Can I put the stuff in and then request her? Okay. If not, I'm just gonna go to the thing we're gonna be doing. Okay. Nope. Come Man. on. Okay. Anyway. Yoshida is available. How are you doing? The key to success is a healthy heart and body. Come to think of it, I haven't told you what it is I aspire to do. And aside from that, there have been some incidents. I think I'm thinking of telling you everything. Would you be willing to listen? Feeling my bond with Yoshida will grow stronger soon. So, you're gonna spend some time with Yoshida? Head over immediately. I'll be right there. Thank you. Let's talk before my speech then. I'll be waiting in the town square. <laughs> 